Hello, you wonderful people on YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about Strapi Cloud backups. First, we're going to show you the new feature in Strapi Cloud where you automatically get your database backed up weekly. And if you need to restore it, all you have to do is just create a ticket and our team is going to help you out. But I'm also going to show you how to use Strapi transfer and import and export to be able to also make your own local copy of your database and files. So. Without any ado, let's jump into the video. So here I am under my Strapi Cloud project under settings in the backup tab, you will see the last date of your backup. If you wanna restore your backup, you can either click this link, which will allow you to send us an email, or you could use this help icon. And here you would say open support ticket, select backup and click type for now, click others while we add that option. And in the description, we want you to provide your application a debug name which I'll show you where to find in just a moment, the date of the backup you wish to restore and when you would like it restored. And you could find your debug application name under general, scrolling to the bottom, and here is your internal name. And this is what you would add to allow the Strapi team identify your Strapi Cloud project. Now, if you're just using Strapi Cloud in a free trial period, the automatic backup is not available. You do need to have our pro, our custom, or our team's plan. And like I mentioned before, in order to restore your backup, you're not able to do it yourself. You do need to contact our support team. That feature is in development and we'll let you know as soon as it's available in the future. If you want to give us any feedback on how we could improve this feature, I'll make sure to link in the description for our feedback site where you could add either a feature request or any feedback that you may have. But now what I want to do is show you how you could manually back up your data using Strapi's DEETS, which is our data transfer system. So we're able to use transfer to pull data from Strapi Cloud and save it locally via our export function to a file. And in the future, if we need to either make any changes to the database or we need to restore the project, we could do so as well. So let's take a look what that workflow would look like. Here I am logged in into my Strapi project that is deployed on Strapi Cloud. Take a look that under events, we have a couple of events. We also have some user information. We have our global settings that control our navigation on our website and we have our homepage that has this hero section. If you take a look at my local deployed project, all of that data is missing. So let's take a look how we could transfer our Strapi cloud data to our Strapi local instance so we could save it as a backup to locally store it on our system. So inside my Strapi cloud project, I'm going to navigate to settings and the first thing we're going to do is create a transfer token. I'm going to say add a new transfer token we're going to call it pull because we want to pull data from our Strapi cloud. But you could also do full access where it includes both push and pull. So why don't we do that? Because I'm going to also show you how to transfer data back to your cloud. So instead, I'm just going to call this transfer and we're going to say token type full access and select duration. I'm just going to do it today. So seven days is more than enough for me. Click save. Now inside our local instance of our Strapi application, I'm gonna run yarn Strapi help transfer just to see which flags we have available. So we are going to be transferring from, so we wanna make sure that we use from URL, and then we're also going to pass from token flag. So let's do that now. I'm going to do yarn Strapi transfer, and we're going to use from flag. You could find it from in your URL. It's going to include the admin plus your URL. URL, click copy, let's paste it in. Now when we hit enter, it's gonna ask us to provide our transfer token. So I'm gonna copy the token on my cloud instance, click save and paste it in my local instance. Yes, we would like to proceed, so I'm gonna say yes. You might see this review workflow feature does not exist on your destination because that's a Strapi Enterprise feature. And since I'm using the community edition, we could completely ignore it. So just say yes. It's gonna go ahead and start our file transfer. Once our file transfer is done, let's restart our application by running yarn develop. And again, this is running locally. Inside my local project, I'm going to refresh. And notice we now have all of our data. We have all of our events, we have our user, we have our global items, and we have our homepage. Now next, I'm gonna show you how to export this to have a local file that you could use as a backup. So once again, make sure that you are in your Strapi project folder, you could type yarn Strapi 
the help export to see all the flags available to you. And we're going to use known crypt and the file flag. So I'm going to type yarn strappy export and I'm going to say no encrypt and we're going to use the file flag and I'm just going to call the file strappy backup. Click enter. It's going to go ahead and run our export. We could start our project by running yarn develop. And to test this out, let's go into events and let's delete all the events. Oh no, all the events are gone. What are we going to do? Well, now we could run yarn strappy import and we're going to pass the file flag and we call that strappy backup. We're going to click enter and it's going to go ahead and ask us if we want to proceed. We're going to say yes and it's going to go ahead and import all of our data. Go ahead and restart your project checked by running yarn develop and now when I refresh you're going to see that I have all my events and all my data back restored from our local backup so now back in our cloud account let's say that somebody accidentally deleted all of our events again oh no they're gone our events and our deployed application are gone if only there was a way to restore from backup you could either contact your support team but if you made the backups like i showed you you can go ahead and do it yourself so let's walk through the steps so again let's go to our settings let's go to our transfer token and i forgot what my token was no worries because you could regenerate the token that we're going to use to transfer our local data to our cloud data so in our terminal let's stop the server clear and we're going to run yarn strappy help transfer just to remind us of all the flags so we're going to type yarn strappy transfer and we're going to use our two flag let's make sure we grab our two url including the admin paste it in click enter next you're going to be prompted to enter your token we're going to go ahead copy our token and save let's paste it inside click enter and it's going to ask if we want to proceed with the transfer because it's going to do all in one one shot make sure that the data that you're looking to push to your strappy instance is exactly the data that you want click enter and it's going to initiate the process again we'll have the warning for review workflows just click yes and it's going to go ahead and do its magic one thing to note when using the transfer feature is that both my local project and my cloud project are off the same repo that means that my local code and my cloud code that's deployed including the schema files are in sync and are matched up so make sure that you're transferring data between same project with the same schema with that being said let's continue with this video after transfer has done let's go into our cloud deployed application under events oh my goodness our events are back the day is saved so in today's video we talked about the new feature that comes with strappy cloud which allows you to keep backups of your data which is backed up automatically weekly and if you need to restore from your backup you can do so by contacting our cloud solution engineers but i also showed you how you could save and make backups manually by using our deeds transfer feature we looked at how we could pull data from the cloud save it locally using our export functionality and then how to do the opposite where import our data from our backup and transfer it back to the cloud so now you have a way to have backups of all your data with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like to give us feedback, you could do so in the comments below, or you could come and hang out with us at Strappy's Open Office Hours, held on Discord, Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. CST time. So with that being said, I had fun making this video for you, but I'll see you in the next one.